All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. Sitting in the home away from home. If you're new to firearms, you're going to want to listen to this because this is going to greatly affect the way that you, as a new firearm owner, may want to consider voting in the future election. Uh, last night, I couldn't stomach it, but I watched some highlights, and it was just disgusting. Uh, as a matter of fact, the whole week has been pretty disgusting with the lies that have been coming out, first from Michelle Obama, uh, what's her name, Kamala? Harris or something like that, uh, that woman from uh, uh, California that wants to confiscate your firearms, uh, kill fracking, uh, destroy jobs, and uh, pretty much uh, take away the majority of your rights because you really don't need those, do you? And according to uh, Joe Biden, this is one of the reasons why I've kind of pulled back from doing this video uh, this week is because I do, I get so passionate and I get so pissed off and overwhelmed and worked up that by the time I figure out trying to make a video, I'm exhausted. <laughs> but anyway, uh, touching base on the 6mm arc, that thing ran like a charm. JP Rifles, Proof Research, Primary Arms and Trigger Tech, uh, Optics Planet, uh, discount code KB32 is the new discount code. Please use that. And make sure if you order something from Optics Planet that it doesn't say check availability. If it says check availability, stay away from it. Okay. And as far as shipping times, everybody is slow right now because the demand is high. All right, so uh, let's talk about this. Uh, this is part four of a multi-part series that we're doing on Joe Biden's gun control plan for the future. If elected, uh, he's going to put forth some of the most extreme gun control uh, plan. Well, let's see, gun control uh, guidelines, I guess, restrictions against you, the legal gun owner. There's not a whole lot in this plan that says how they're going to keep guns out of criminals' hands, but how to restrict it from you, the legal gun owner. If you're new to owning guns, we've been, we've been doing this battle since the beginning of time. The Second Amendment shall not be infringed, and that's what we're talking about. But Joe Biden, in an interview with uh, that dude from CNN, the first thing he says is that, do you think that uh, what these so-called assault weapons should be banned. Bingo! And I want them all because they don't be alone. And nobody needs that. Get a shotgun, he says. All right, so let's talk about this. The next, the next part of this series, and we're talking about this, uh, create an effective program to ensure individuals who become prohibited from possessing firearms relinquish their weapons. Well, let me ask you a question. If you go out and you do something that you shouldn't do and you're convicted of a crime and all of a sudden they say you can't have a firearm, why can't your family take possession of those things? Keep them in the family. Are they talking about taking them, uh, going to your house and confiscating your firearms? They are. And once you get done with your sentence, well, you know what? Those things are gone forever. Federal law defines categories of individuals who are prohibited from purchasing or possessing firearms and the federal background check system is an effective tool for ensuring prohibited persons cannot purchase firearms. But we lack any serious tool to ensure that when someone becomes newly prohibited, newly prohibited, what, 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 what makes a person newly prohibited? In the previous videos, we were talking about uh, hate, hate speech, hate crime, misdemeanor hate crime. Uh, you say something on Facebook that could piss somebody off. Guess what? You can be charged with a hate crime. It's getting sick nowadays because the generation of offense, and then they're offended by everything you say. Generated offended. Generation offended. That's what we should call them. But we lack serious tools to ensure that when someone becomes newly prohibited, for example, because they commit a violent crime, they relinquish possession of their firearms. Well, hell, they're in jail. What, what more do you want that they, they're separated from their firearms? But relinquish, what do you mean that they're confiscated by the government? That's exactly what they're doing. There are some promising models for how this can be enforced. For example, California, enough said, the mandatory process for ensuring relinquishment by an individual newly subject to a domestic violence restraining order, i.e. Uh, extreme uh, restraining order, red flag. As President, Biden will direct FBI and ATF to outline a model relinquishment process and enact any necessary legislation to ensure relinquishment when individuals newly fall under one of the federal prohib prohibitions. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So yeah, 
if you were newly convicted or you have a restraining order, you must relinquish your firearms. I would suggest uh, we vote the proper way and get these guys out of office. California, it's, he's wanting to follow a California law. And why? Because the crazy lady to his left, Kamala Harris, <laughs> and synthesize state extreme risk protection orders. Uh, what they want to do is, in other words, and synthesize. Let's, let's think about that. What do they mean? Uh, we're going to keep federal funding from you unless you get this red flag order. So all the states that uh, have basically said, in a good way, we're not doing a red flag. Well, Biden will take your federal funding from you. The synthesize. We're going to hold this over your head until you make this law. Gives incentives to set up gun licensing programs. Biden will enact legislation to give states and local governments grants to require individuals to obtain a license prior to purchasing a gun. You know what my license is? The Second Amendment. The right to protect yourself shall not be infringed. The right to protect your goods, your family, your property, your homestead shall not be infringed, asshole. So now you want all of a sudden a right? We have to have a license where you turn around and you say health care is a right where other people have to pay for that right. There's no such thing as a right when other people have to pay for it. And this is where they're going. So if you're new to gun ownership, this is the fight we're looking at. And this is why I'm speaking directly to you guys, the new gun owners, because you have to vote. You have to vote to keep our Bill of Rights active. Bill of Rights do not expire. This guy and the left, all they want to do is figure out how they can take that away from you. Gabby Giffords was on the uh, DNC the other night. I didn't watch it. I don't care about it. But I'm sure that she paraded paraded a bunch of children in front of her going, these are the people we want to protect. How do you protect those individuals? By taking the rights to bear arms from other law-abiding citizens? And that's their answer. This is why I have a problem with doing these videos because I get fired up. Adequately fund background check systems. President Obama and Vice President Biden expanded incentives for states to submit records of prohibited persons into the background check system. As Bi President Biden will continue to prioritize the funding and ensure that, if, whatever, dude, that's bullshit. Uh, addressing deadly combination of guns and domestic violence. Uh, yeah, if you get arrested, they're going to come take your guns. Let's see. Uh, Violence Against Women, Reauthorization Act 219. Uh, Leader McConnell refuses to bring to the floor for a vote. Uh, in addition, Biden will establish new task force on online harassment and abuse to focus on the connection between mass shootings. I believe in that one. All right, so let's just, I'm going to stop it there because we're getting along. But guys, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you this. If you're new to gun ownership, welcome to the fight because that new firearm that you went out and you purchased because you were personally scared for your safety because of the shit that's going down in the cities right now. And then, and then one of the things, they were like, we'll take it to the urban. Bring it on, baby. That's what I say. Anyway, they want to take that ability of you to protect yourself, your loved ones. Firearm purchases are at an all-time high. And the reason why is that we live in volatile times right now. Because... As the left in the DNC convention, they were like, we'll bring this country together. No, just like you have been trying to bring them together the last four years, as you divide everyone, as you fight against a, a, a common cause to make this country great, because you don't want it to be great. You want it to fail. Hella high water. You want it to fail because you, you, it's your agenda over the well-being of the people of this country. Hoosa. All right, guys, that's it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. We always end them like this. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, in uniform 24 seven for our freedom. Because freedom's not free. If 99.9% .9 of the cops in this country are good, then we should treat them that way. Support those. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.